Talking about the weather is a familiar pastime in Britain. And let's face it, we have so much of it to talk about, as these last few days have proven. Well, in our psalm today, the author recalls how the weather sustains God's provision to the people, and that this leads to abundant blessing, grass for the cattle on the hills, food for the birds that sing, and wheat for the people. God sustains creation, and he sustains his people. He created the heavens and the earth and sustains it in his providence. He cares for the people he loves, listening to their cries and giving healing and support to the afflicted. Yet it is not in the exercise of power that God delights. He's not impressed by physical ability, strength, speed or military might. He takes delight rather in those whose heart acknowledges his goodness and who follow his wisdom and reveal his everlasting love in their own living. It's fitting for his people then to sing praise to their God because of his goodness to them. Now if yesterday's psalm was the praise of an individual, today's psalm is the praise of a community, God's people whom he has cared for, granting peace, sustenance and guidance through his word to Jacob, the laws and decrees of Israel. Paul affirms to the Romans that the Jews have been entrusted with the very words of God in Christ Jesus. The word is revealed to the whole world that all may come to know his grace. So the God who commands the universe, the seasons, the nations, the elements, whose power surpasses that of human beings absolutely, yet makes himself known in in human form through his love. And he takes pleasure in all who love and respect him. All the faithful become the recipients and keepers of God's word. Praise then is fitting for all God's people. Psalm 147. Praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant and fitting to praise him. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the broken-hearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars and calls them each by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. The Lord sustains the humble but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with grateful praise. Make music to our God on the harp. He covers the sky with clouds He supplies the earth with rain and makes grass grow on the hills. He provides food for the cattle and for the young ravens when they call. His pleasure is not in the strength of the horse, nor his delight in the legs of the warrior. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. Extol the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise your God, Zion. He strengthens the bars of your gates and blesses your people within you. He grants peace to your borders and satisfies you with the finest of wheat. He sends his command to the earth. His word runs swiftly. He spreads the snow like wool and scatters the frost like ashes. He hurls down hail like pebbles. Who can withstand his icy blast? He sends his word and melts them. He stirs up his breezes. And the waters flow. He has revealed his word to Jacob, his laws and decrees to Israel. He has done this for no other nation. They do not know his laws. Praise the Lord. Now, one other curious point about this psalm. The ancient Greek translation, the Septuagint, treats verses 12 to 20 as a separate psalm. So in the Septuagint, this is Psalms 146 and 147, and in this way the numbers of the Hebrew and Greek come back into alignment. A prayer. Lord and Father of us all, it is good to sing your praises. You command the universe, the seasons, the nations, the elements, and yet you care for each of us, loving us and sustaining us in every moment, healing the broken-hearted, and guiding the way of the humble. We praise you for all that you are, and all that you have done. So help us to keep your decrees, 
with the same generosity of love that you reveal in sending it. Amen.